everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I'm going to add a couple more answers to a couple more questions that were asked that I missed yesterday and one came in today. Um, one was, um, does, do Jim and I have a pet name for each other? No. He had to call me my name, I guess. I had only two names he could have called me. He could have called me MG or he could have called me Gracie, but he didn't choose either one of those. So, And I didn't call him anything but Jim. Um, so we didn't have pet names, no pet names. But my sisters called me Gary Mace <laughs> uh, because they had their name. Well, Anita's name was never shortened because Anita is Anita. But Lucy, and Lucy was Lucy, so nobody was ever shortened. So we all had our, our regular names. And then um, another one wanted to know, what do I do to relax? Apparently, I don't feel stressed to think I need to relax. I don't have a cocktail after hours. I don't, I don't sit in the chair and put my feet up. I don't, if do. it's rare if I do that, it's because I'm so tired and I want to go to sleep. There's something on my glasses. I can see it in the corner. I can see it. Um, but I guess I don't, I, when I was working at the county home, uh, there'd be a lot of commotion going on and I guess there would be a lot of bickering or something between people and and I and I would think, like all of a sudden say, what? What's going on? And they go, what the heck have you been, where have you been living, in a hole? You know, because it's like I didn't know what was going on. Apparently I never made it my business to know their nonsense. And I don't have any nonsense of my own to, to deal with right now. The only time I have a problem is when I, something with the government or um, some, some organization that I have no control over, paperwork that they need or want or they send me and I don't know anything about it. Stuff like that is what will get to me. But I don't really do anything to relax, relax. And then I had answered yesterday that if I could change anything, I wouldn't change anything. Well, you know, I was thinking about it a little more. The only thing I would have done maybe different is have somebody videotape me while I was skating so that my mom and dad could have seen me skate. They never did see us skate. They didn't know really how good my two sisters and I were. We used to do the all the dances and the dances were where you were had a partner and you were doing a lot of turning around. We did a waltz, a tango, a shottish, and the 14th step which is a march. And then we did other ones like the chicken, chicken dance and stuff like that. The two step and the double timing and of the skates. But that was probably the only thing I would have changed is if my parents could have seen me skate because they never did see me skate. Um, that was um, sort of disappointing. But that would have been the only thing that I would change. Now today, I it was chilly again. I wore long sleeves. As you can see, look, I've got long sleeves on. Now it'll show me my, my, my what you call it will be, ah, <laughs> or something crazy. I'm not going to use that. I will take it out. But um, I just washed a, a load of shirts all red and there was 23 there and one pair of pants that were uh, a checkerboard pink and white pair of pants. So I've got enough shirts to make one full load of just red. Red, peach, pink, the coral, you know, the red, the red, whatever, the ray of reds, whatever ray there is of the reds. And that was it. So this is all I have today. So I guess I'm going to have to say goodbye. And I hope you all have a nice day. So bye. Hi again. It's Nona Grace. And I'm from Western New York. I just made a video. I'm not sure if I'll post both of these or not. But if you see them both, then you know I did. But I was thinking, you know, I was wondering how it is that we can go to sleep. Are we putting ourselves into a trance? And then we and we kind of close our eyes and we drift off into la la land or what I you know I, I was laying there in bed the other night and I was thinking and I kind of count I, I don't know if anybody else counts I count like I just count I don't not counting anything I just count numbers and I try to see what number I'm on when I fall asleep but I never know what number I've been on when I fall asleep because I just fall asleep and then when I wake up in the middle of the night 
and I walk to the bathroom and I keep my eyes shut because I don't want to open them because if I open them I might wake up all the way. I don't know if anybody else does that too, but yeah, I keep my eyes shut. I only have them walk open while I'm walking to the bathroom. Once I get there, I close them again so that I don't wake myself up. But don't you wonder, how is it that we can put ourselves to sleep? I know like babies sometimes, they hum, they, go, they do a little bit of a humming to lull themselves, or some babies will even rock themselves. I used to have a little girl in the school that she would rock herself back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and then finally she would go to sleep. And if she kind of woke up, you'd see her rocking again, and she was lulling herself back to sleep. Um, but I was wondering, how is it that we fall asleep? And what happens when we fall asleep? Do we just fall asleep? That was a question that I had. And um, also, like it's like when, when you close your eyes, and if, I don't know, I didn't get to do this, but I was going to, but it was so long to wait to do it at the fair. I wanted to be there when the hypnotist was there because I guess they usually have you lock your hands together and then they have you close your eyes and they have you listen to them for a bit and then they say, open your eyes and now try to take your hands apart. And you actually find that your hands are harder to come apart. And I don't know if it's because they've been together for so long and um, they get kind of locked, but you do feel like you're pulling them apart. Or they have you close your eyes, put your arms out straight. And as they're talking, when you open your eyes, if one arm is higher than the other and one arm is lower, when you think that you're keeping them level and they're not actually keeping them level, well, the, the harder it is to pull your hands apart or the farther apart your arms are when you open them up, you're more susceptible to being um, hypnotized. Mine never went very far because I think I was too conscious of what I was doing. And so I probably am not a good subject for hypnotism. But didn't you ever wish that you could hypnotize somebody? I actually brought home a book from the library once on hypnotizing. But I didn't learn how. I really would have liked to know how to hypnotize people. I think that would be such a fun thing to do. Well, I guess I will close for now. I really don't have anything more to say. Hopefully you've had a great day. And I will talk to you all again tomorrow. So bye. This time it's for real. Bye.